Nifty Images already offers a variety of different chart options, um, custom designs, um, and today I'm going to go through some more advanced options with our new editor. So I'm starting by making a progress bar. I'm going to hit the start design so I can get a look at this. Um, now I'm going to change my value to 10,000, um, which is the same amount of donations we're trying to collect. And I'm going to set design value here to 5,000 just to see what it looks like. Now under my color options, right, I can come in, change the colors. In this instance, I know what colors I want to use. And I'm also going to make this solid. Under my uh, label and y-axis options, I'm going to remove the progress label. And I'm going to get rid of the padding at the very bottom, so it's strictly the chart itself. Now I'm going to save this. This will work, of course, um, by passing in any variable um, from your ESP. And you can also, of course, use a data source to pull in real-time values so it updates that every time it opens. Now I'm going to create another image. I'm going to go to the personalized image where I can launch the new editor. Um, here I'm going to make a custom canvas that is 600 by 500. And it's going to have a transparent background to begin with. Um, now here I have the option of adding design options. So these are static images. So I actually have an image I've already made. I'm just going to drag that in. And you can see that I've cut out a portion of this image. So it's showing the transparent background behind it. Um, I can then come and lock this layer because I don't want to touch it or move it again. Now under my chart um, options here, I can actually go and just type in, search for the chart I made called example one, where I can now go and position this, modify it um, to fit the transparent portion behind it. And when I'm done, I just simply drag it below the first image that we uploaded. And you can see how it creates um, a fill in that original image. So as I go to preview, I can come here. And once again, this is going to ask for a value. Um, as I modify this, you'll see the numbers change, filling in the top layer with the amount that's been collected. So this is a really cool way to use charts in a more creative way um, and give you guys just a little bit more power. Um, now I'm passing in the value that's going to fill the chart. I can also make a merge tag layer um, using that same VAL val. So in this case I already have it saved, but it's going to pass in the value. And I can come here and I can you know, modify the font size, color of this, and I can start to use this as well. I'm actually going to add the dollar sign in front. Right, so now we can visually display how much we've raised and it will match the same amount that we have in the chart itself. And when I'm done, once again, if I go to preview, right, still just one variable, but as that changes, you can see the amount raised at the bottom and the fill of the chart will adjust accordingly. I can open another example here um, where I've done the same thing. So in this instance, I can toggle off the image and you can see the chart below it. So in this case, I have my basic um, uh, progress bar that I made vertical. And what it's also doing is, once again, showing through a cutout portion of a static image above it. And then of course, up top, I have the amount, which is 5,000. Once again, just using the val merge tag. But as I go and preview this, same thing as the numbers change, both the donations received at the top and the progress bar on the left will automatically update. In this final example, I've created a very simple radial gauge chart. I'm just selecting two colors here. Uh, the max value is 100, and this is going to be for a profile completion image I'm making. So it's a transparent background. I will now jump into the same Nifty Images um, editor we've seen before. And here we can go through the different layers that we have. So here I have a first name merge tag saying hi again, and then adding first name. So you'll be able to pass that in from your ESP. The second layer says uh, complete your profile. It's currently at in the value. So the same value that's going to fill the radial gauge chart is going to be presented here. And the image is represented at 65. Then I have my chart itself. So this is just, I can toggle this on and off. And you can see how I've simply positioned this. Um, around the image I've created. Um, lastly, I've actually added a dynamic image. So this can be done 
um, by going to advanced options, adding a dynamic image, and I've layered this um, behind everything. So created a, a couple different layers here to this image, but as I go to preview, you can see that um, both the name, the value of the chart, which is also showing it's at 83% here, so it's being used in two places, and the profile image are all unique. So very simply, you have an image that can not only show their name, but also um, their image, um, completion, radial gauge chart, and the percentage all in one image. And by saving this, you'll get an image URL where you can simply pass in the name merge tag from your ESP, the profile image, and the value that will uh, modify the chart and show up in the image at the bottom. If you have any questions, please reach out to us. Um, we'd love to answer them or help you guys build out any custom charts you guys are looking to build. Thank you.